I don't quite know what to do in this heat, <laughs> she says. It's about 25 degrees and I am suffering. Probably because I have locked myself in quite a dark room with no windows open because it's so windy outside that I wouldn't be able to film if I had the window open. So I am gonna try and be really speedy with this book review today. Um, but firstly, I just wanted to say thank you so much to those people that have subscribed. Those 54 people. Might not sound a lot, but to me, that's unbelievable. Today, I am back with you with the third book in my three minute book review series. And I'm reviewing one of my favorite authors, Paige Toon, and If You Could Go Anywhere. I've read pretty much every single one of Paige Toon's books, but this one was a bit of a disappointment and I really don't take pleasure in having to give this review. The main character is Angie and she lives in a very small mining town in the centre of Australia. Um, she looks after her nan, but it also, as the story goes on, transpires that she looks after pretty much everyone in the community in some way or another. She lives in a dugout. <laughs> she lives in a cave, basically, which I think it's probably one of the problems that I had with the book is that I totally couldn't relate to the main character. And she was also quite a goody two shoes. Um, she literally would do everything for anyone. I couldn't relate to that. Um, and I think that was probably one of the main problems I had with the story. Not only could I not relate to her in terms of her personality and how perfect she was made out to be, but also, the fact that she lived in a cave in the middle of Australia, I find that really hard to envision. She hadn't seen a lawnmower until she reached the age of 12. Which I guess there's not much call for lawnmowers in the desert, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, she probably thought about that. <laughs> uh, after her nan died, she was sorting through her stuff, actually came across a letter from her father, who she never knew. It was addressed from a restaurant in Italy. So obviously now Angie doesn't have any family to look after anymore. She decides that she is going to head to Italy to find her father. Of course, when she arrives at the restaurant, she first meets Alessandro, who is of course, tall, dark, handsome, hot, Italian. As you do, you know. Um, so there starts that potential love story, which keeps on going throughout the entire book. But you know from the first couple of chapters that they're gonna to get together. Overall, I would say it's a nice read, like it's fine. It's fine, um, but it, I didn't hate it. I was just pretty disappointed. <laughs> I'm not angry with you, I'm just disappointed. There just wasn't enough of a storyline to keep me wanting to go back to it. I don't find myself thinking, oh, I really want to get back to my book because I want to find out what happens. You know quite early on what's going to happen. And I guess that just takes away any intrigue. So overall, pretty disappointing. I'm going to give it six out of 10, which for me, that is poor. Okay, and that is my book review. But before we go, next up, I have Lindsay Kelk's I Heart Hawaii. I'm a massive fan of Lindsay Kelk and I'm also a massive fan of the I Heart series. Also, I've always had Hawaii on my to visit list. So there are three very big reasons why I should absolutely love this book. Um, I have started it already. I'm about 70 pages in and so far, so good. So hopefully I can be back with you in a couple of weeks, giving you a positive review much better than this one, um, of Lindsay Kelk's new book. If you would like to be notified when I upload that, please subscribe. Um, my aim now, you've got to have a target, haven't you, all the time? My target is to get to 100 by the beginning of September. 100 is a massive milestone. If I thought 50 was big, 100, well, <laughs> I mean, that's double. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this book review, please give it the thumbs up below and I will be back with you next week with a new video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.